Hi and welcome to this week's project. This week I'm going to be making something out of this blank here. This was given to me by Zach Higgins at Maker Central um, 2019. Um, I'm not quite sure when this video will be going up but um, I'm going to start this project today and I'm going to try and get three different little things out of this pot because I know that there is stabilised and dyed wood in here um, that Zach did. He did it in this video, I'm going to link the video above now for the casting of this. And uh, anyway, today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it down in half because uh, I'm only going to need a little bit of it today. I'm going to be making a little bottle stopper and a pen just because I want something really where I'm going to be able to see um, as much wood in it as possible. So most of it will be in time lapse. I hope you enjoy.
Welcome back. Thought I would come in at the end of the video uh, this time. So, firstly, I want to thank Zach very much for the blank. It's absolutely beautiful, and you'll see the pictures in a minute. But I am really, really delighted um, with this project. The way he stabilises his wood is amazing, and it was a it was really great to actually get that opportunity to work on one of his pieces and have a look at it. So uh, yeah, thank you very much Zach, really appreciate it. I've learned so much from you over the years, but well before I started any of the resin work, um, Zach was one of the main ones that I watched. So uh, yeah, thanks very much Zach, and I shall see you in May when I'm down at Maker Central. So, and that's the other announcement, Maker Central is happening this year, and it is going to be a yearly thing. So I think it's 2nd and 3rd of May, hoping I've got those dates right. If not, the correct dates will be below you right now. Uh, I shall be attending. This may possibly be my last year um, attending this year because I've done it three years on the trot and coming down from where I live, it's a big journey. It's very expensive. Um, so yeah, I'm coming down to this one. I will be on the House of Resin stand and uh, I think it's just doing a show and tell. On the house of resin stand so i shall be um there a couple of times during the day um so i hope to meet up with you all but also want to thank my two patreons which is robert evans and mark from shop dog workshop shop dog workshop they're all down below uh, those links to um well, Robert doesn't have a YouTube channel, but Mark certainly does, and go and check him out. He does a lot of great resin work too. Um, but thank you very much to both for supporting the channel. It really does help. Um, the way that the Patreon money works really is I just basically put it back in, and you will see by I'm thinking it'll possibly be next week's video or the week after. There is some leather work coming in, and that money helped towards buy the, the stuff I needed for that. So uh, yeah, that really is about it. Hope you enjoyed this project and you know, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you again next week. Okay, so I thought I'd randomly put this little bit in at the end, a little bit of the behind the scenes of what goes on when you're actually having to prepare for intros and outros and stuff like that. Well, this is the casting room. This is actually a room that's on the end of my kitchen. Um, I fitted this room with the units. This is specifically for casting. I needed somewhere that was dust free and I could keep it quite warm. So this room's here. Now this room is tiny. It probably looks it on the camera as well. Um, there's, I've basically got the shelving at the back here. This is a coat rack. When I come in from the shed, I put all my coats and all the dirty stuff on here before I actually enter into the house. And obviously this is the casting area which looks specifically clean right now. Half an hour ago 
I couldn't even see the top of this there was that much stuff on it underneath where you're you are I've got a box where I have all the pen blanks ready because obviously they go up for sale so they're all in a box which are confined on their own and they're all set in order so that when um, ever I get a sale I can lift that box up and they are all dust free in there ready to be packaged to go out also behind you is quite a big LED screen um, an LED light really is what it is um, because I do get bags under my eyes and I still I'm struggling with the right in this room that's the one thing the other room that I had where I used to do the casting I used to have a great lighting system this room is not big enough for that lighting system so I've had to change it around so there is an LED I still get the black bits under my eyes I still look like I'm 20 years older than I am of course never mind so that's a little bit behind the scenes of what goes on here I'm going to give you a little walk round maybe over the next few weeks just in the shed area to show you what is behind the camera on there but I'm filming on a GoPro and I've got a little mic on the top of that over to this side here is all my moulds they're just basically thrown in a cupboard there I've also I make quite a lot of my own moulds right below you where you can't even see you're actually sat on some moulds that are waiting to be finished um, in the back <laughs> so there is so much stuff that happens it's off the screen here but I just thought I'd give you a little insight today so have a great day everybody